Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show how to read data from a, a pro, from a properties file. Now, this video is basically for those people who are um, learning automation or who are programming. If you're a pro programmer already or, a, for, or an automation tester, you would probably know this already. Okay, so on my screen, I have um, I've created a class uh, called props. Now um, let's create a method within the class. Okay, I'm uh, call it um, public uh, is the access modifier I'm using. So I got a return value which is a string, and I'm going to call it get password because I want I'm going to supply the username, and I want um, system to retain the password for the username. I'll explain all that in course of time. So that needs to accept um, the username. So I create a variable to accept the username. And I'm using camel case. Obviously, if you if you don't already, um, the standard is to use camel case. This is camel case. The first letter would be of the variable would be um, lowercase and then the successive words would be um, start with capital okay so that is the method let's add some lines there now I'm going to tell the tell Java um, setting file. so I'm going to tell uh, that's just a variable I've created to store the path the path of my properties file so this is my properties file okay so i need to tell the system the path so i'm going to um, put a slash i'm going to start from here source okay i tell you why um, we have to supply only from so um, start only from source not from the um the root okay source then you have um main then you have resources then you have config then you supply user details dot properties okay now that is the um the path and that is the file i want system to read um that that file okay now um, I need to tell the system uh, in which directory this file is okay for that you create another variable file path system the system is a Java's um, uh, Java uh, class system class and get property is a method um, from the class. So I'm going to tell system get it from user dot dir. Now that is what it does is this would um, this when you pass user dot dir uh, this would get this would look uh, for this file in the current directory of the user. So I've logged in and the, the current directory, whichever, whichever the current directory is, that is where this is going to look for this file path and that file. So the current directory, if you um, go to terminal, is demo. That is the current directory. Okay. So do not be confused. Some people, uh, I've seen some people using user.home. So uh, user.home will, uh, will be the, the home directory. So that's different to the current directory of the user. So this is to get the current directory of the user of the logged in user, which is me. Okay. Then I'll say um, setting file path. Now that will have the, the folder because you don't want to ex explicitly at, uh, supply the directory. You could, you could do that here if you're certain that is the directory. But uh, otherwise, it's better to let the system do um find that uh find the 
directory of the current directory of the user and then you add that so this will have the current directory then this this path including the file name that's this variable will contain that okay so once you have that once you've done that then you have to um, create a an object of the file input stream so file there you go it's only come file input stream there are different ways of doing it i'm just doing it this way okay null now what does it do so this actually file input stream is itself a class okay so that's a java class now this would um, i'm what i'm doing i'm creating a variable of that class and i'm assigning null to it okay um, so file input stream is uh, is used it, it actually um, uh, creates an input stream by opening a connection to the actual file okay that is why we're using we're using that to open a connection to the actual file you will see that in a moment now i'm using a try catch because you use try catch um you know in case you can't find the file the the error will be caught that's the purpose of using um, try catch file path you supply the file path here okay and uh, then you uh, if you use um yeah if you, uh, you have to actually uh, if you use try obviously you have to have a catch if the if you can't find this file or something wrong with the file you can't find it then it will be caught here so you have to give an exception file not found exception i'll give okay there you go okay so that is that now um here you can actually type if you if you want to print out the error you can you can do that so that e dot print stack trace so that will print out if you can't find the, the stack trace will be print, printed out that's that's why you're using that so here what what have we done here we've created so we've created a variable and now here we are actually creating an object of this class okay so this is when you use new you actually use new in java to create an object of this class as I, I did show that this is a class you can actually hire ho hover over and it'll tell you so that's a class java class and um and we shall uh, we shall open a connection to the actual file so here you're passing that file path okay that's what you're actually doing here you see that that has the file path you're passing that so using the path it will open a connection now once you've done that um you create you have a, the uh, properties class you create an object of the properties class so this is how you create an object of the properties class okay uh, again this is a you know this is this is this is a class and so you're creating an object called properties so once you've done that again i'm going to use a try catch properties dot load um, file input system so you're loading that let's let me just add um, the IO exception here I'll come back to it and explain e dot factories there you go okay so here using the um using the property uh, properties variable you create created a new um, new property here using that variable you're loading okay you're loading the uh, the input stream here so what it does when you what, what this does is this 
this method would um, read a property list from this input stream this would read the list uh, the property list uh, like in key and element pairs from the input by stream so this contains the input by stream this would this load method would read um, the property list from this uh, stream okay so once that is done um, you actually all you almost done with that so now you have to return now um, you have the you 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 established a connection to the file then you read the file now once you read um, the, the file obviously you need to get the correct um, data you want so for that you use properties dot get property method okay and then you supply the username so this is where this it will um, once you have the data everything the files are read it will find the properties uh, this method using this method it will find the username and then it will get the the corresponding password from the properties file and return back to you now the if you look at the um, the properties file you have the demo user and the the password this is what we are after okay especially in automation you don't actually you want to have the user users and the passwords all in, in the in the in a, in a properties file and you want to read you know to avoid any kind of user error um, you don't want to supply the username and password in the test you want to supply the username and then using the username you need to get the password so that is the best practice so now I'm going to go to uh, my main method. I'm going to run. So I create created an object of my props class here. Okay, and um, I have um, uh, I'm passing. So using the the uh, the new object variable, I am passing the um, the demo user, the get the get password method here. Okay, so this will search through this file using um, all these vari various um, uh, methods, the, prop the, the file input stream and uh, the properties and the load method. It will find the, the it will stream, it will locate, it will read, and it will retain. It will search, finally it will search, it will come here. Okay, it finds the user and it will retain the password. So if you run this, there you go. The password is password. I store the password in the variable password and I'm just printing it out. I'm getting password one. So this is how the this is how you um, get the properties file to uh, get the property um, object to read the properties file and return the value you can actually go into if you're interested you can actually go into this and see um, and understand more what you're doing actually is you see it's got um, a constructor so here what you're doing is you're passing here what you're doing is you're actually passing the file path to the constructor of this class that's what you're doing if you want to if you don't know what constructor is it's good to learn I have a um, video in my channel on con uh, Java constructors and uh, constructor overloading. If you're interested, please do have a look. Okay, so this is how um, properties work. This is how you read a properties file. Quite simple, but really useful, especially those who are learning. Okay, I, I hope the video has been of some use to you. Um, if you found it useful, please do subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.